DDT is the abbreviation for the chemical dichlorodiphenyl trichloroethane. It is a hydrocarbon with two aromatic rings and five chlorine atoms. It was first synthesized in 1874. Paul Muller discovered that it could be used as an insecticide in 1939, and its use was widespread in World War II to control the insects which were spreading malaria and typhus. In fairness, many lives were saved because of the use of DDT because of the reduction of uh, the spread of these life-threatening diseases. Muller won the Nobel Prize for this in 1948. However, it is so persistent in the environment that there were long-term effects. Charles Broly in 1947 noticed a decrease in su successful bald eagle nest attempts. Rachel Carson brought public attention to this with her 1962 book, Silent Spring. That year, 1962, half a billion dollars worth of DDT was sold in the United States alone, both in agriculture and it was also used as a household pesticide. 80 million pounds were used in the United States at its peak year in 1959, and over a billion pounds were used in the U.S. over 30 years. The EPA banned it in 1972, although there were a few uh, temporary exceptions in subsequent years uh, when insect uh, pests hit specific crops. Um, Mexico eliminated its use in 1997, China stopped production in 2007, and India still produces DDT. Since 2006, the World Health Organization has allowed limited use of DDT in Africa to control malaria uh, under uh, the premise that its benefits uh, outweigh its harmful effects. Humans can be exposed to DDT in their diet by eating meat, dairy, and fish products, through inhalation, through touching a surface where DDT is, it can cross the placenta and affect a fetus, and it can be present in breast milk. DDT can travel long distances in the upper atmosphere. DDT and its metabolite, DDE, can accumulate in fatty tissues and persist for long periods of time. So your adipose may contain uh, chemical pesticides, especially DDT and DDE, given that they are nonpolar and uh, accumulate in nonpolar fat. Uh, in humans, large doses can cause vomiting, seizures, can affect the reproductive system in the liver and be a potential carcinogen. While we aren't exposed to as much of this anymore, so large doses are unlikely to occur unless you're exposed to chemicals, uh, the CDC re reports that most people do have detectable levels of DDE in their body indicating past exposure and that some people have detectable levels of DDT.